Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Chris Fellow here and we're all about running, reselling, lifestyle and everything in between. And today we are kicking off week 14 for the 50k training plan, which means we are kicking off run number 66. And it's a beautiful fresh morning. Uh, it's sunny, it is cold, but it's sunny. And this one's warm enough. Look at her. You ready to rumble? <laughs> An easy 40 minutes, which is what we're doing today. So yeah. How are you feeling? You feeling it? Yep. Okay. She's trying to smile or not scream. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do 40 minutes team. Get out there, enjoy the beautiful spring weather and uh, we will see you out there. Let's do it. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. It is fresh, but we are having some fun. Carla's smiling. Oh, there's a big crane. Look yeah, at big crane. Well, you do need to take it easy. What, 1K in, team? It's uh, about eight minutes in. Yeah, that's uh, the big boy. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll zoom in. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Finish line vibes. <laughs> well done, babe. <sighs> so this was Carla's first run actually after having vaccination, which <laughs> I only realized as we started, but she's done well. Very easy, slow pace, which is expected because a bit of shortness of breath and tiredness, eh? Done well. Feel good? Accomplished? Oh, yeah. Still touching. Alright, team, so not too bad. A very, very easy run. 40 minutes we did do, probably about an 8 pace. Uh, and <clears throat> yeah, not too bad. I'm gonna let this sink and then we'll have a look at it. But this one, it's gonna come back and we're gonna get a photo. See the eyes roll. Did you see them? Did you see the eyes roll? Whew. So we've done five kilometers, 40 minutes, 806 pace, uh, 144 heart rate. So easy does it, I'd say. Easy does it. Which is pretty good. I'm still a bit tired. I've pulled up fine after the 20, <clears throat> how much did I do? 26k the other day, but um, it is Tuesday today. So I did have a rest day yesterday as well. So anyway, I'm gonna go uh, have some breakfast with Carla, take it easy today, do some things, and uh, we will see you next time. All right, team, we are back for another run, and I believe this is run number 67, somewhere there. Anyway, today we are doing one hour and 15 minutes, or 75 minutes, for those that need the conversion. And this one, she's alive and kicking. She's ready to kick butt, make it happen. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she's so cute when she's like this <laughs> anyway so we're gonna get out do this um, and yeah that's that's pretty much it. it is a bit nippy actually it's only about seven degrees um, any wise words babe how's the training going it's been good so far <laughs> what <laughs> you've had it pretty easy over the last couple of weeks we're doing a half marathon this week babe aren't we mm-hmm mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. The confidence is nice. All right, team. We'll see you out there. Let's go. Here we are. We're uh, 10 minutes in. This one's smiling. She's awake. It's all, it's all good, guys. It's all good. One of these days, she's going to hit me. <laughs> but how could you hit this such beautiful face? I just did. <laughs> Look at those eyes. Look at them, guys. <laughs> Same <laughs> <Stand> help. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty five minutes in ten. Woo -woo. Getting it done. We 
we're just doing a reverse loop now. It's all good, it's all happy days. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Bit of sand running. We can do there and back again. All right, team. 75 minutes done and dusted. One hour and 15 minutes were done. 10.5k. Nice, slow and steady pace. Uh, pretty good. It did feel a bit long, though. I do find these... <laughs> these runs, which have the additional over like a standard 60 minute, kind of make it feel like it's forever. But we got it done. This one smashed it out the park. No worries. You alright? A bit sore. Yeah, my knee. So we've done good. I'm gonna let this sink, folks, and uh, I'll show you the stats. You feeling fine? No worries. Whew. All right, there we go. Done and dusted. 10.5 kilometers, an hour and 15, 708 pace, 96 meters elevation, and 146 heart rate. So pretty, pretty solid run. Just basic stuff, really. Like I said, I did feel a bit tired in terms of just going on and on and on. <laughs> But this was a pretty good run. And of course, it's always better with Carla. Now, quick update. So, we haven't heard any more news around the event. Uh, the latest is that they're going to inform us nine days out of the event if it's going to be pushed. Um, it's not going to be cancelled yet. It's just going to be pushed. Um, so, but based on the cases today, we have gone up almost double cases from yesterday. Which makes me think that, wow, well, yeah, it's probably going to get pushed. <laughs> anyway, we'll worry about that and we'll cross that path when it comes. For now, just one day at a time, just cruising on, continuing on. Basically meant to be in taper at the moment, but what I'll end up doing is probably just adding back a couple of the weeks and then, yeah, redoing some of them and then bringing it back home. So, see what happens. I'm going to have some breakfast and I will see you in a jiffy. <laughs> All right, team, here we are. Run number 69 for... <laughs> and the 50k training plan and uh, we're actually spicing it up. Usually we do the long run tomorrow which is on Sunday. Today's Saturday. We're doing the long run today because it's better weather and Carla's actually going back to work on Monday so it makes more sense for us to do the, the long run <laughs> today so she can rest and recover for, for tomorrow. So yeah, it, it, the sun is coming out. The blue sky's over there. It's going to be a beautiful morning. Super keen to get out. We are doing a half marathon. Uh, we're meant to be doing two hours so we figured we'd just do the half marathon which is Half marathon number eight for me for this year as doing one half marathon each month for the year uh, for 2021. So yeah, super keen. Probably aiming just between two hours 15, two hours and a half, um, somewhere between there. So um, yeah, try and put a little bit more, a little bit more pace on this one rather than slow and steady, but we'll see how we go. We will end up doing one and a half hours out, 30 minutes in the repeats, and then leaving 30 minutes to do some some final hoorahs yeah how you feeling babe she's Shivery. ready she's ready to rumble <laughs> shaking in her boots <laughs> all right team let's get moving because it is cold and uh, we will see you out there let's go <laughs> you want to do that again <laughs> <laughs> all right team let's see ya beautiful sunny morning Realize this isn't a time one as well. Okay. Oh, well. Usually I'd be like, all right, we're 10 minutes in, but nope, we're 1.5k in. Oh, yeah. Just about 20k to go. I forgot. It's a weird mentality changing between the the you know time on feet versus distance. It's uh, it's crazy how much it changes perspective of the run. Anyway, beautiful morning. The sun's finally out. 
It's not as uh, not as cold. Are you warming up, babe? Yeah. It's good. Probably gonna warm up too quick. <laughs> Let's keep charging. All right, team. Well, <clears throat> we're in. We're at three kilometers, three and a half. It's funny because it feels forever. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna keep going. Keep going. <sighs> there she is. That sunshine glow. And she knows it. All right, team, we have done uh, about 8K, almost an hour. Must be a little less than that. Yeah, about 52 minutes. So we're gonna uh, have a quick snack break and then decide if we're gonna do some repeats first or continue on and then come back. So that is the question. First, some snacks. Snacks, cold. Head out now. Yeah? I'll see you at the start. Oh, I didn't check the time when we started. Here we go. Oh, where did they go? Six. That, mate Jeez. all right team we're back out we're going to do a reverse loop now so we're at 10k we've done an hour and eight minutes uh, so if, if we play our cards right we might not have to do any more repeats so technically we're allowed to be out for another hour and 15 minutes so if we can make that happen we will because I don't really want to do more repeats. They're not fun. <laughs> uh, Let's do it. <laughs> All right, team. We are past halfway. We're at 11.7 k's. Ah, it's a bit to go, but I'm definitely, uh, definitely feeling it today. It's really psychological how distance <laughs> run is seems somewhat harder than a time run anyway it's all in the head anyway Whew, let's keep charging doing good yeah she's all good Whew, all right team we're at uh, 14k or just past them so yes well less than seven to go now doing all right doing a few things pushing on it's uh it's one of those out of the comfort zone kind of runs so keeping us on our toes Literally. <laughs> How you doing, babe? All G? Yeah. yeah, she's got this. Like I said, as I always say, doesn't even look like she's been running. <laughs> All right, team, we're entering the final. Hoorah! Literally, this is the final 600 meters. Coming in strong, but sore, tough. It's been the toughest run we've done in a long time, but we'll talk about that at the end. Let's do it, Carl. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. Yeah. Ah, come on. Whew. Ah. We're almost done. Should be done, bad. Here we go. Whew. Half marathon number eight for the year. Of course, all the longer ones as well, but this is it. Now, before Carla runs off, babe, how was it? Tell us the reality. Oh, it was a struggle. <laughs> it was a tough run. So, first half of this wasn't too bad. I kind of started to hit a wall halfway through. I think I've, I've gotten past that wall, uh, but this way, she hit the wall probably three quarters in and we, we were debating how 
We've been doing like these 24Ks, 26Ks. She did the four hour run just the other week and this made that look easy. So um, it's, uh, it's made it very difficult to just manage and, and get through, but we got it done. And now we're gonna have lots of uh, snacks and smoothie and lunch, brunch, everything in between. You've done well, babe. You got it done. You push through. I'd rather run for four hours. <laughs> yeah. It, it's all psychological because we knew we were doing this at a tougher pace. I think that's what it was. And you know, that's it's all part of it. We have to do these kind of runs to to get through the hurt and the and the suck. So good job before you run, babe. I'll grab a little little picture. Just done here. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Whew, so pretty good run. This is just thinking right now. Um, but we are done. We are done. All right, team. Here we go. Oh, so we've done 21.1, obviously, the half marathon. Two hours and 25 minutes. Average pace 6.53. Uh, 521 meters of elevation and 148 heart rate. So. Pretty solid stuff, of course, that's running time. We did do some stopping and starting there, you know, stopping the watch, so just for full transparency. The first half we kind of increased, 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 and then we've kind of dropped, 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 so a bit of a tough one. Uh, heart rate was a bit half, half of zone four, zone three. But yeah, otherwise not too bad. I mean, it was, it's a run, right? You gotta do it, get it done. If they're easy or hard, so unfortunately this was just one of the one of the tough ones. You did it. <laughs> yeah. Good job, babe. What are we having for brunch? Pizza. And? Uh. Sorry? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, team. Well. <laughs> This has been run number 69. So tomorrow we're probably just going to do some hill walking um, and then I'll give you a recap. But, but basically that's that was the tough run of the week. It's probably actually been one of the toughest run we've both done in probably the last six weeks, I reckon. Definitely wasn't an easy run. Um, but we got it done. It's a beautiful day. Now we can just rest. Take it easy. Relax. Well, actually, I'm going to do a podcast edit, but you can relax. <laughs> yeah. All right, team, we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Ciao. All right, team, here we are for run number 70, and it's not actually a run, we're actually doing some hill repeats. Uh, so we're gonna do some walking. We're gonna do 15 minute walk up there, probably do, I think it's six or seven repeats, if we're doing the longer version, and then uh, we'll walk back. So it should be a good hour turnaround, and uh, yeah. How'd you pull up after yesterday, babe? Yeah, after having a good sleep. Yeah. Well good rested. Food. Oh good now. <laughs> She's all good. I'm feeling alright. Alright Tim, well we'll see you out there. Probably won't be that much footage to be honest. It's it might even rain, but we're just gonna have a chat, chill and hang out and get this done. So probably see you at the end. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> alright, let's go Tim. All right team, hills done and dusted. Uh, pretty good, it's just thinking at the moment we've basically done about an hour's worth, five and a half K. Um, I think we ended up doing about eight repeats actually, one longer one and seven shorter ones, which once it comes through, we'll, we'll go through, but pretty good, nice little effort. Carla looks like she hasn't even done anything of once again. Too easy? Yeah. Yeah, actually I think yesterday's run, we actually saw that she, she, she does sweat, she does feel it, it is hard work. But you get those one every, one every 50 runs, I think. So it's not too bad, whereas, yeah. Anyway, it is what it is. Once this sinks, I'll take you through it, folks. But pretty good, light and easy. It's a bit weird. I'm totally out of whack because, well, today's Sunday. You should do the long run, but we, because we switched it up, it, it all feels out of, out of routine. So not too bad. It's all good. It's all good. All right, so we've done 5.5 kilometers. Uh, calories, 387. Heart rate, 106. Um, and time 57 minutes. So let's have a look and see these stats. This is where it's going to get interesting So we did a warm-up and then we did a longer hill repeat which was five minutes and ten which is about 510 meters um, Which is 
almost perfect pace on on distance and then we've done another one two three four five six seven yeah so we do a total of eight repeats but as we go down uh repeat number two we did uh 430 429 425 423 411 413 412 um and then we've just done a bit of a cool down walk back so pretty solid stuff nothing over the top but what we're going to do now is go take it easy rest for the rest of the day and you will see the week summary very very soon let's go all right team here we are end of week 14 and it's been an interesting week only because i have had in the back of my mind knowing that things are likely going to change in terms of the training plan now last week i mentioned and through the week i've been alluding to that you know there's a high chance that our lockdown is going to get extended which means our you know actual running date is going to get pushed out and it's looking more and more yeah more and more of a chance that that's going to happen but until that's announced I'm, I'm gonna just have to manage it and I'll probably update you guys as I progress into week 15 as well But anyway, let, let's touch on this week. So this week's been pretty pretty solid We've done 42 kilometers and you know, we're, we're starting to come down and we're meant to be starting to taper actually And if we think of how much we've progressed down You can see up on screen that the week prior we did 47 the week prior to that we did 50 So it, it is starting to you know trend down and this this makes sense and I've only done I didn't do all the runs once again, but we will get to that shortly so something just to be mindful of but now in the back of my mind knowing that we're probably going to likely have to jump back up anyway and then in terms of time what we ended up doing was this week we have done a total of uh, five hours and 18 minutes whereas compared to last week we had done five hours and 26 so the timing hasn't changed too much but in terms of you know the amount of runs or the effort it has come down so just coming back to around if i do extend things out which is likely what's going to happen um, I'll probably end up repeating week 14, then we'll do 13, 12, 11, then build our way back. Of course, once I have this all figured out, I'm going to take you all through it and we'll, we'll go into a bit more detail. So, <sighs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's have a look at the full view to date and while that's coming up, this week, you know, we, it was a pretty solid week. I think the half marathon that I did this week, it was one of the challenging ones. It was one of those runs where I just hit a wall. I mean, the marathon was easier than doing this half marathon. And I think it's just a psychological thing. It was just a mental thing. Sometimes you have the good runs, you have the bad runs. And I think it was because it was more distance based rather than time focused. And I don't know, it was just, it just really struggled with it. Carla struggled with it too. We both just hit a bit of a wall. I mean, we got it done, but you know, not as not as easy as we had intended. Full view today, we've done a total of 692 kilometers, averaging 10.7 kilometers per run. Time on feet, we're sitting at about 80 hours and 21 minutes. Average heart rate is 144. Pace is sitting at 706, so that has come up a little bit. Elevation sitting at 8,123, averaging around 118 per run. We've done a total of 65 runs. So I'm up to run 70. We've only done 65 runs knowing that you know i was only going to ever be doing between uh four to five runs per week not six runs per week that's just a bit too much we haven't really necessarily done the entirety of it but i'm feeling great and i think one thing that i'll be managing over the next if i do get extended out which is very likely just making sure that i'm keeping up that consistent strength and cross training um because we will get extended out to a total of 22 weeks meaning this is a 16 week plan, it'll get extended for another, yeah, basically another six weeks or so. So I'll chat about that when it comes. <clears throat> it is very frustrating, but I'm becoming more and more comfortable with it as I'm letting it digest. And I think next week I'll have the full details, walk you through it. I am keen to see how the race will come out with a um, recommendation of how to adjust the plan and things like that. So that's why I haven't really dived into it too much, but it is something definitely I need to start considering and getting my headspace ready for that. So yeah, it is what it is. Otherwise, this week it's been it's been pretty solid. I mean, it's just another week. Um, it's we've progressed so far. I'm doing way better than I expected. Excited to continue to push through, take on the challenge, and and make it happen. So, <laughs> it is what it is. We will get there. We'll get it done. And I've just got to stay positive and try and do as best as I can. That's that's really all we can do. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. If you had to change this up, what would you be focusing on for an additional six weeks? Um, yeah, let me know. Really do appreciate it. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang, and hustle. Ciao.